Hey everyone, welcome back to the Starmony Q&A episode. My name is Natasha and I'm from Starmony HQ and I'm basically here to answer any questions you have about anything related to track creation slash music creation within the Starmony app. First question, can you download on Samsung? What about on Android? Can you make it work on Galaxy? Android version, please? Well, you can see here that it's definitely a question that we receive a lot, very frequently. And the answer is, we're working on it. We're working on making the Starmony app available on both iOS and Android so that everyone that has a smartphone, no matter if it's iOS or Android, can use the Starmony app to create music and release music. If you want to be one of the first ones to try the Android version of the Starmony app, don't forget to sign up on our waiting list at starmony.io slash wait dash list. So once the Android version of the app is out to be used, you will be one of the first ones to know. Question two. Is it possible to turn down the volume of the track in the app? So you can't really do that. Like you can't lower the volume of the track itself or the instrumental or the beat, whatever you call it, on the app. But what you can do is make sure that your vocal recordings are mixed properly using all these vocal effects. And obviously we have the volume effect that you can use to make sure that your vocals sound balanced against the music production. Question three, can people choose the beats directly? Directly. Yes, you can do that. And a great way to do that is to use the beats collections that we have on the app. We have lots of beats collections. We organize them based on the different moods or genres of the beats. If people are interested in making a pop rock song, then they can just go to our beats collection called Pop Rock Collection or Pop Rock Passion. Um, if they're interested in making like lo-fi hip hop song, then they can go ahead and use one of the beats from our lo-fi hip hop collection and so forth. We have lots of those and we're we're always open for requests for new genres or moods for our beats collections. So don't hesitate to leave us a comment or DM us on our socials if you want to see a certain genre or a certain vibe for the next beats collection. Question four, do you have more sad beats? This is very much related to the previous question. We recently just created a sad beat collection called Slow Feels. And it's basically a type of like, you know, melancholic kind of beats collection. And if you want more of those, of course, like we said before, leave a comment or DM us on our socials so that we can make more of those. Question five. I have been having trouble with getting a clear recording and no filter helps it. It just sounds like I'm breathing heavily into the mic so you can't even hear my voice. I guess this is kind of like a general tip on how to make voice recordings sound better. And the main thing to make your vocal sound as great as possible is to use the different vocal effects that we have on the app. We have clean, we have auto-tune, we have lots of different effects at your disposal so that you can maximize the quality of your vocal recording. But also the most important thing to think about or to consider before you record your vocals is how you place your microphone or your phone's microphone in front of you as you're recording your vocals. So let's say if you're too close to the microphone, then your phone's mic might pick up a bunch of puffs, breaths, or close-up sounds that you don't really wanna have in your vocal recording. So that's all the questions for this Q&A episode. And as always, don't hesitate to send us more questions through our socials so that we can discuss it and answer it in the next episode. Keep on creating on the app and see you later.